the the title uh, of this conference education conscience and tax uh, justice uh, is quite appropriate for enlightening the never ending fight of taiji men for justice and and all the speakers who have preceded me have abundantly illustrated the content of the book who stole their use that has just been launched so i will not repeat or summarize what has been said uh, before me because their testimonies and uh, analyses were sufficiently explicit i will rather focus on the message that uh, taiji men has sent to the world outside through its 24-year-long uh, battle. Conscience is what characterizes uh, our human nature, and human beings are the only living beings on Earth that have awareness of good and evil. This feature constantly needs to be preserved, nurtured, and developed through space and time. Yet this can only be achieved through education. Moral values are the blood that irrigates the minds of human beings. Family, school, religious and philosophical movements are the arteries and the veins through which the blood of spiritual values can give oxygen to the human conscience and make it grow. This is what Taiji Man has been doing for decades, teaching and training the disease to live according to their conscience and according to their spiritual values, whatever the price to be paid and never to compromise. Integrity, dignity, respect, compassion, love and peace are at the heart of their values end of their life. Taiji Men's teachings make the disease aware of good and evil. Taiji Men's disease uh, teachings are the blood that irrigates the souls of the disease. And the best ambassadors of Taiji Men's teachings to the outside world are the disease themselves because they are the living testimonies of their spiritual values can regenerate individuals and society. However, the fight for the well being of people also means to fight against evil forces. One of those evil forces in Taiwan that Taiji Men has been facing for two decades and a half is the National Taxation Bureau. And it's a lie. Prosecutor who? nicknamed the Judicial Rambo. Quite a number of Taiwanese speakers before me have already exposed the circumstances and the details of the war waged by the tax administration and prosecutor who against Taiji Men in violation of the foundations of democracy, the rule of law and human rights. Disease have courageously testified about their sufferings for following their conscience. A book entitled Who Stole Their Youth has just been published in Mandarin. It is an invaluable source of information about the magnitude of the damage caused to Taiji men and the disease by evil forces because they chose to follow their conscience. Fighting for justice is the right fight. And as Massimo Intervini stressed in its introductory remarks, the followers of Taiji Men have learned in the hard way an important thing. If they didn't find themselves for their rights, nobody would do it for them. And they courageously did it. They did it very courageously, I must say. Some were not even born when the case started and others died in the meantime, sometimes because of the huge stress coming from that uh, ordeal. 
Then uh, Christine Meir from uh, CAP, Freedom of uh, Conscience uh, in France, shared with us uh, some other examples of fights for justice and especially for uh, tax uh, justice. And the cases that she referred to were uh, in France from groups that were blacklisted by the French state and subsequently persecuted for years by the tax administration. All of them won their cases. But the most dramatic one concerned Jehovah's Witnesses as they had to fight for more than one decade in domestic courts and several more years in the European Court of Human Rights to obtain justice. The reimbursement of 4 million euros unduly charged and confiscated by the French state was returned to the Jehovah's Witnesses. So it was worse from that point of view to fight the big fight against uh, the administration. But it's not a matter of money. Uh, it's a matter of justice. It's a matter of uh, principle. Then I would also like uh, to, to stress the, the testimony of uh, Boris. He also encouraged uh, the, the Taiji Ben, uh, Dizid, and other supporters to fight for tax uh, justice. And from his experience in uh, Russia, he noted that behind the persecution of minority religious or uh, belief groups, there are always anti-cult activists. And also the false accusation of so-called tax evasion is a, really an easy one to be used to isolate a group and uh, to isolate a group from the rest of society and to bully it until its, own, until its destruction, if possible. So there is a strategy behind those attacks against uh, uh, Taiji men. And then I, I would like to stress as well in the presentation introduction uh, by uh, Marco uh, Respinti, a very interesting uh, comparison that there is a no-fly zone somewhere where the state is not allowed to interfere. It is a safe haven that is almost a sacred place. And in the, the case of uh, Taiwan, uh, the state has crossed the red line. It has crossed the red line and this has had tragic uh, consequences because in such cases when the state interferes in the private sphere and in the autonomy of a religious group it's not only disputable but it's always very bad as Marco stressed. For almost 25 years Taiji Men has been fighting against a number of evil forces and has chosen not to compromise with them. It would have been easy to pay a modest fine and hereby get rid of a burdensome and never-ending judicial battle. The Taiji man has refused to follow the apparently easy road and has chosen to follow its conscience. Taiji man had not cheated with Taiwan tax administration, so there was therefore no other choice than to refuse to admit any non-existing wrongdoing and any supposed guilt. By just paying an illegal tax and a small fine, Taiji Man would have recognized its alleged guilt. It would have lied. It would have made a perjury. It would have denied itself. It would have lost its face and its credibility forever. It would have sold its soul it would have offered a total victory on a golden plate to the evil forces which want to weaken and destroy it. So Taiji Man made the right choice, but a difficult choice. Taiji Man preferred to spend the necessary time, energy and financial means for justice with a capital J, whatever the cost. Justice, not only for themselves, but for all those who are victims of the oppression of the tax administration. 
Taiji men's battle is not only for Taiji men and his disease. It is a battle for the well-being of all the Taiwanese, for Taiwanese society, and for the image of Taiwan on the international scene. Taiji men's voice and deeds have attracted many Taiwanese experts in legal and political matters who have joined their voices to its fight for democracy, the rule of law, and human rights. Taiji Men's education program raises and awakens the consciences of those who thirst for righteousness. The conference, Education, Conscience and Text Justice, and the book, Who Stole Their Youth, perfectly reflect the battle for justice, with a capital J, fought by Taiji Men and the disease. In the fire of oppression, they have shown a dead rock face in their values and they have passed the torch to the next generation. Thank you very much.